thing by the time they get around to Pittsburgh uh, the last few years here uh, pre they're still filling an uh, intercontinental championship. Match. Intercontinental championship match. Oh, Stardust I'm was so that sad about that. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, so uh, you know, but but John Cena's creepy smile. Uh, you, Thutters, you mentioned how uh, everybody. Uh, I was really surprised by, uh, as well. You, you, it, it seemed like everybody was behind John Cena. Um, of course, we it was USA versus Russia, so I think yeah. it made it a little easier. But there was there was no wavering. Like, no. at all, mm-hmm. when, when when we had that situation. No, I'm so used to going to a wrestling show and having, you know, John Cena sucks chanted at least several times during the event, and, and this, not even once. It was it was something unusual for me. Well, it did happen in a dark match, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> that was different. <laughs> but it was, it, was not, it was definitely a situation where it was like, it wasn't just the kids yelling for him, it was grown-ups and adults yelling for mm-hmm, him, which mm-hmm. was awesome. And, and, and I, I, don't, I don't mind seeing him as a good guy and a, a fan favorite mm-hmm. because um, I think he does a lot of good things and I think he brings a lot of fans in because whenever I, I know for people who don't even follow WWE, it's like, oh, I know John Cena. They're, he's the one they know. And mm-hmm. it's, but yeah, it, it's a fun turn, and it was kind of funny to see. I was uh, actually talking with the Larry uh, about the because we saw the shots of some of the kids in the front row that had all of the Cena mm-hmm. stuff on. I was like, yeah, the parents buy every single Cena thing. It's like they're cosplaying as John Cena at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, well, he does have a merch line at Kmart, so yes, he does. Yes. That makes it a little easier, mm-hmm. and the wrestling fans will shop at Kmart. So that makes a little. It's really pathetic at Kmart, by the way. Have you ever looked for WWE stuff at Kmart? I mean, I think it depends on the Kmart sort. I we have some really crappy Kmart's around here. That yeah, yeah. The Kmart in Penn Station is on point. It's Look Penn Station. Penn Station. It's not <laughs> Bridgeville. <laughs> but that's the one you expect to be sold out of stuff. No. Mm-hmm. I don't think we get this stuff to be sold out. That's I expect to be well stocked. I don't think like general. I don't think the people that shop at Kmart in the uh, outskirts of Pittsburgh are the same they shop at a Kmart in Penn Station. <laughs> we'll just put that out there. Um, this, K- this Kmart has an active volcano. <laughs> That's an SNL skit about Walmart. I'm sorry. It seems I digress. Like it. it seems like it sometimes. <laughs> um, but anyways. Uh, but... But uh, uh, but no, I, I, and, and, and for something that I think we all kind of like, eh, okay, he's going to take on Rusev and probably beat him, and yeah. we're going to completely Rocky for this thing, which I heard a fan in the audience say, oh, this is just like the guy from Rocky IV. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And that's always the interesting thing. I don't know if you see the starters, uh, but, it, but, you know, hearing the comments from other people in the oh, crowd. I, it. It, like, I, I don't know. Did you hear it, it, like, like that? There's a kid two rows behind me that loved it when Booker T came out and just went <laughs> insane when Booker T was announced for the commentary team. Did you have any good ones from your side? Ah, no, they were, um, they, shoot, nothing, nothing too unusual. Um, we did have the, well, we did have the, the time when it kind of got a little bit boring. It went from, the chance went from this is boring or to, uh, CM Punk, which is now new. This is boring, obviously. And oh shoot, I wanted to just start the three MB chant again. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's totally acceptable. Undertaker. Yeah, yeah, we were chanting for the Undertaker. And that was mostly during the Usos match, and I didn't hear any other kind of outlash crowd reactions uh, the rest of the night. I was worried after Royal, Royal Rumble last year, for instance. Oh, we're a bad crowd. Yeah, that's a reason we've been getting nothing <laughs> but live shows lately. Um, what another one, July eleventh. Which is the same date as like two indie shows that I'm involved in, which Yay! is fantastic. Oh, no. Yeah, in Pittsburgh, that's going to be fun. Three live shows, sort. Three live shows. Wow, <laughs> wow. I'm just going to have everybody else film the shows, and I'm going to WWE. Um, <laughs> but sure, we have enough videographers now. I guess so. Um, but anyways, geez, what was I getting into with that? Um, but I, I was actually also impressed that that we didn't have like CM Punk chance when AJ Lee came out. That's a, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Thank you, Pittsburgh, for classing it up a little bit there. Uh, really appreciated that. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. Other than that, I mean, what did you guys think of uh, uh, the John Cena part of it? Um, he, he, you know, there's been comments. It's like, it's, I think one was, uh, if this is heel Cena, how would I know? Yeah. Uh, Sorg's front. You'd be smart. Matt? I have a question about this. Oh, yeah. Then Matt. Um, do you think that WWE is hedging their bets with Mania because they know if they give the belt to Roman Reigns, people are going to be really, really, really angry? 
but if they give the U.S. title to John Cena and the IC title to Daniel Bryan, it'll soften the blow. That will be interesting. Um, kind of along with that, I mean, ha- have you remembered when the IC and U.S. titles met more than they do now? No, they're they're building the undercard so much because they know that main event's going to get shit on. Well, and, and the way they've they've done the belt with like we haven't defended for a while, we don't have anything fight anybody fighting for anything else than who's in line for this guy. I mean, you need something more significant, and maybe the numbers are showing it. You know, as far as the pay per views and, and such, you know, um, are they are they making something compelling enough without that belt on top? And what if we make these other belts? What if we get to the point where we get a uh, Bret Hart? Uh, bulldog situation at SummerSlam where the IC belt is a uh, main event again. Matt, you had some comments. I might have derailed off another tangent though. Uh, Sorgatron, John Cena is pure evil. <laughs> John Cena does very mean things. The American Poor empire, Rusev. John Cena. Poor Rusev and Lana do nothing but mind their own business. <laughs> Rusev beat him once. He's nothing but a nice guy. Just loves John Cena comes out there and beats him up like a child just so he can get his title match. Sorgatron, this man is a heel. Well, he's been a heel for years, actually. One of the Twitter uh, comments was that he was holding him captive. <laughs> he actually held yeah. a man ransom for what he wanted. <laughs> just like Seth Rollins did to get the authority back, like Gaiman said in the chat room. Let's be honest. Yeah, exactly. Let's it's be com- basically what... Exactly what Seth Rollins did. But, to let's be but, completely yeah, honest. Do Hulk Hogan has done much, much worse stuff in the name of America in the 80s. <laughs> I don't know. I if mean, Hogan America has done evil. much worse stuff in the name of America. Hulk Ho- or I'm sorry, Hacksaw Jim Duggan was the biggest asshole for not letting Nikolai Volkov sing the song of his people before his match <laughs> just because <laughs> it's America. Beat up, beat just up a match. Russian guy and like choked him out because he wouldn't give him a title match. Hulk Hogan never did that. John Cena is the biggest American jerk I've ever seen in my life. John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question though. Stephanie said that John Cena had to change Rusev's mind. He didn't. No, Rusev he, didn't no. Want to fight John Cena. No, no, no. He, no, no. he, he no, changed no. Mike, Mike, mind. He changed Rusev's mind from awake to unconscious. That's how he changed Rusev's mind. But it, uh, I don't. That doesn't make sense. Don't though. don't worry about your logic at this time. It's America, Mike. Everybody knows. Well, everybody who's in a relationship knows the <laughs> woman's in control. So if the woman says you're going to do something, you can't back out of it. It's Wait, like a verbal contract. Is, is this a diva recap here? They have, they, have, they have reasons to kind of like recoil on that. <laughs> Like, could you imagine if Rusev comes out next week and says, I still don't want to change John, face John Cena? You didn't change my mind. She was just scared. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's true. Well, they did have a kind of a backstage segment with uh, Lana and him, which um, I don't know if you guys know this, but she might be leaving to do that movie. Mm-hmm. Do you think this is a way to get her off TV, like to have them kind of split for a while? That could be. Oh, yeah. That would be really unfortunate. It would be. Oh, wait, and she's not like tech. I, I think she's done the movie. Or is she doing another movie? No, she, she she's doing the one with Edge. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I don't think they filmed it yet. That's right. And they could, yeah, I could see that. You know, uh, John Cena wins. They split for a bit. You know, Rusev goes through some kind of Russian purgatory in the undercard. <laughs> you don't think Rusev's going to, like, kick her, do Russian you? purgatory. <laughs> you don't think Rusev's going to lose and then, like, kick Lana? I don't think they would do that. that. <laughs> I don't think that would happen. Uh, in this day and age. I don't know. I don't know. No, how I don't far away are we from the uh, moment in the WrestleMania match where, where where Cena has to do the spot where he just just like lays one on Lana in the middle of the match? And that <laughs> has to happen, right? you got to force yourself upon Lana, John Cena. You don't then, represent my America. And you, then Nikki are, Bella comes out and beats her up. <laughs> you are an evil man, John Cena. Wait, we haven't we haven't discussed the uh, Axel Mania here. <laughs> oh, poor Curtis Axel. Poor yeah. Curtis Axel. Oh, this is a storyline set up. But this, uh, uh, oh, that's right. You wanted Curtis Axel to actually win the U.S. title yes. and then defend that at WrestleMania against John Cena. Yes. No, no, not against John Cena. I want John Cena to cost Rusev his undefeated streak on Raw, make him lose the belt to Curtis Axel, and then Rusev changes his own mind because 
John Cena, you lost me my title. You lost me my undefeated streak. I will fight you at WrestleMania. Didn't happen. For the pride of my country and for the pride of myself. Didn't happen. I know. God damn it. Poor Curtis <laughs> Axel. On that note, guys, we're going to get to the big question. Axel- we have some more to talk about. What's that? Axelmania comes green. Axelmania. I wanted to, I was sad because we were leaving. and I, uh-huh. I, you know, so I was checking out the nurse stand. I wanted yeah. to see if they had any Axelmania shirts. What, this is a missed opportunity right there. <laughs> um, but uh, hey, speaking of opportunities and opportunities to fill your hole, Bobby. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> With pizza! With pizza! There's an awkward transition on Boss Battle earlier tonight. But we love filling our holes with Slice on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> We're home <almost> sure here. <laughs> They're supporting great podcasts in Pittsburgh with pizza um, and pepperoni. Uh, check them out, sliceonbroadway.com. They're here in the South Hills, uh, right down the road along the tracks here in Beachview in the south neighborhood of uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, you're also in Carnegie, PA, also southish. If you're heading out to the airport, you'll find it pretty easily. There's an exit for it. Get down to Main Street. Uh, great gourmet pizza made from scratch. Um, pizza goes with wrestling. Right, guys. Um, you know, you get that wrestle, you get that WrestleMania. You get like a hundred chicken nuggets from the McDonald's, like we did that one time, and a pizza. Oh, chicken nuggets. Maybe you put the chicken nuggets on the pizza. If you bring the chicken nuggets to slice, I bet they'll put it on the pizza for you because they like Try, working with you. Just booked my party, Sorg. I just booked your party. Are we gonna do that again? You got, you got to make sure Chachi comes because he's the he's the brainchild behind that. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> Chicken McChachis. <laughs> <laughs> Check them out. Let them know you heard about them on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Ask them if they'll put chicken nuggets on your pizza for you <laughs> by telling them on Twitter at PGH underscore Slice over there or on Facebook. Look for Slice on Broadway on Facebook and Instagram and let them know. Please, somebody in the chat right now, can you please tweet? At PGH underscore on slice it right now, sword. and ask them, right ask now. them if they'll put chicken nuggets on a I'll pizza. Send them one right now because we're side. wondering about it at on at Mayhem Show right now live uh, from Pittsburgh, PA, and we're really curious about this right now. Um, what was the last thing we were trying to get them to do? <laughs> <laughs> like, like we should just like, what is your what is your concoction of the week that we can come with come up with on these podcasts that we want to have during WrestleMania? Um and 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 ask Slice if they will make it, you know, because I mean they experiment. And so at one point they made a uh, a a football goalpost out of uh, breadsticks or something, um nice. for for the Super Bowl. So I mean they have a lot of fun stuff on their Facebook and everything. But they support us. We like to support them. Um and they're good stuff. If you're in town, I mean you know, you know, support the local guys. Just support the little guys. And we'll be right back with the big question by Bobby F J Town. Ooh. Big question, FJ Town. Scandalous. 